Good afternoon. Sarawak United People's Party SUPP Youth Wing has called on the Sarawak government to establish its own airline to fly direct international routes. SUPP Secretary General Milton Fu said it is time for Sarawak to have better international flight connectivity. He added that Sarawak is worse off compared to Sabah in terms of having direct international flights. Meanwhile, he also called on the government to address AirAsia's decision to suspend its direct flight route between Kuching and Shenzhen, China, effective February 28. According to him, several businessmen in Sarawak have business arrangements with counterparts in Shenzhen, China, and the flight suspension would negatively impact their businesses. On another note, SUPP Youth Chief Milton Fu has asked Deputy Minister of Domestic Trade and Consumer Affairs Chong Chenzhen to list down the 70% of goods that have dropped in prices. Milton Fu said he made the call to Chong since October last year, but has not received a reply since then. He added that Chong has made the claim on several occasions, with the latest one on Saturday. At a press conference in SUPP headquarters Kuching, Milton said that Chong claimed 291 out of 419 items had their prices reduced based on the ministry's survey, but those items had not been publicly dis disclosed. Minister of Infrastructure Development and Transportation, Tan Sri Dr. James Jumut Masing, revealed that the Sarawak government is in the process of appointing consultants to design the four major bridges along the coastal highway. He added that the projects will be based on open tender and he expects construction to start next year and would be done simultaneously. The four major bridges that are considered missing links of the coastal highway are the Kuala Kemena Bridge, Batang Igan Bridge, Batang Lupa Bridge and Batang Rambungan Bridge. Speaking to reporters in Kuching, the minister said that these projects could be implemented with the availability of funds from the state. Masing further said that the total cost of these projects will be about 11 billion ringgit and he hoped that they could be completed by 2025. That's all the news for now. I am Razi Ahmad. Thank you for watching.